February 19th, St. Barbatus, Bishop. When Barbatus began his ministry, he found even the nominal Christians steeped in pagan superstition, including Duke Romold, whose father, Grimold, king of the Lombards, had edified all by his conversion to Christianity. They venerated a golden viper and worshipped at a tree on which they hung the skin of a wild beast. The ceremonies in honor of these terminated with public games in which the skin served for a mark at which bowmen shot arrows over their shoulders. St. Barbatus preached boldly against these abuses and labored long to no purpose although he supplemented his exhortions with fervent prayer and rigorous fasting for the conversion of the deluded people. At length, he roused them from their indifference by vividly portraying the calamities their city was bound to suffer from the army of the emperor Constans II, who, landing soon afterward in Italy in the year 663, laid siege to Benvento. In their distress and alarm, they listened to the preacher and renounced their errors and pagan practices. Thereupon, St. Barbatus consoled them by his assurance that the siege would be raised and the emperor worsted as actually happened. The saint with his own hand felled the tree which had been the object of their veneration and melted down the golden viper, of which he made a chalice. Hildenbrand, Bishop of Benevento had died during the siege, and St. Barbatus was chosen as his successor. He was able to complete the good work he had begun and stamped out heathenism throughout the state. In the year 680, he attended the Sixth General Council, which held at Constantinople against the Monolites. He did not long survive this assembly, for he died on February 29, 682, at the age of 70 years. St. Augustine says, When the enemy has been cast out of your hearts, renounce him, not only in word, but in work, not only by the sound of the lips, but in every act of your life.